Now, before you say anything, I know it's not the video that I keep on saying I'm gonna upload, even though it's like a pretty bad video that I'm making. Uh, I just discovered that this is a thing where you can talk to AI of game characters and people and stuff. Uh, Phoenix has seen me a video on it, and it's really cool. And I discovered that there's a Rob Top one, so I decided I'm gonna have a conversation with him because this will be interesting. I am Rob Top. I insult people on Twitter and tell news on Gemshash 2.2. Tell me anything. Well, the most logical thing is when will 2.2 be released? It will come out within two or three months. We are working very hard to make a great update. It will have a new feature that I'm debating to put in the game, and this update will blow everyone's minds. New feature. Under like a lot of new features. So, what new feature? It's gonna be a new boss fight. This boss being this gigantic robot. The player has to scale to avoid its attacks. I was considering putting this in the game, and it will be similar to the last boss of the level. What? You mean the deadlocked boss? That was a monster, not a robot. I'm just gonna say, are there any new game modes? I mean, we already know that there's gonna be the swing copter and the jetpack for platform mode, but like, I mean. This is a bot, I want to see what the bot wants to say. New game mode. 1. Boss fight. 2. Survival. You have to survive as long as possible. 3. Build battle. You have to build better than your opponent to stay in the game. This isn't Minecraft though, how do you build battle with someone? <laughs> the way it'll work is both players will start with a thousand blocks and have five minutes to build a better object as decided by the judges on the side. I'm working on having some famous people of the community being judges as soon, such as Cole and Aeon or maybe even Vitefriend is one of them. Okay, this is an event. Yes, there are going to be three of these events. A hundred players battle with everyone having the same materials to make something, and people vote for who's the best in the time interval, such as one minute. Two, 5v5 build battles. This one, this is still in concept, though. Three, two-player build battles. So it's just build battles. <laughs> What's your hardest demon? Sure. My hardest demon is currently is deadlocked. I'm practicing and I'm really close to beating my first extreme called Cataclysm. I started playing this game around 2016, so I have a, had a lot of practice. You start playing the game around 2016, you own the game! And jumping from deadlock to Cataclysm... I mean, it's not surprising, that's just every single person on r slash Geometry Dash, but still. What's your best so far? No, I didn't mean 10 other... Deadlocked is my hardest level, but I have 10 other demons complete. The Nightmare, Platinum, Adventure, Lightning, or Close at... Totally problematic speed racer, the furious, death moon, and the end. <laughs> what is the furious and what is the end? No, no. Oh, <laughs> currently at forty-three percent. I've been trying to beat it for two months and it's really hard. Well, yeah, you're jumping from deadlocked. So maybe he doesn't have an understanding of difficulty. So say, All right, what's your best on ballistic wistfully? Eighty-six percent, but it's not impressive. What? It, it, is, it is impressive, it, that's very impressive getting 86 on Ballistic Wistfully. So it's much harder than the ones I listed above. And it's definitely the most impressive achievement in this game. I'm hoping to have level pretty- beat him pretty soon. It's the second hardest level on the- on the impossible list. Hold on, I've got a good one. Why won't you rate Funk Town? We tried to rate Funk Town, but the song got copyrighted and we were threatened with a lawsuit. And even as cease and decease, I personally love Funk Town due to its circumstances. I do not think it will be getting a rate. If you have any more questions, I'll be happy to answer, however. Okay. There we go. What about Diabolic Club Step? Why wouldn't you rate that? I mean, then again, like... Isn't, like, the verifier of it, like, not wanting it to get rated right now? It's a cool song. It's not a song, it's a level. We decided against rating it because it was very over-decorated. And the game was not up to par with current standards. We have set. However, it was, re it was reworked, and we may rate it in the future if it meets the guidelines. As we, as a company, have set. Oh, we have a good one. Does Scratch and Potball like each other? They love each other dearly. They're one of the few couples who successfully met online and are now married. I wish them a happy long marriage. They're great people and both have an amazing sense of humor. We all laugh very hard whenever they're around, and we are all like the grandparents everyone deserves to have. What? What's your best on back on track? 95%. That level is a nightmare. I can get the wave consistently, but the ship at 95. That is a literal nightmare. <laughs> the ship is the worst ship by any main level. I'll ever change my mind. What? 
Back on track does not have a wave part unless you count Russia on track. And there's no ship at 95. Let's see what the bot says to this. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is a real IP or if this is a server IP. Because we all know he has have like 10,000, 10, no, not 10,000, 10 million. Let's see what he has. 239k subs as of now. I've been on YouTube for a while. I've made lots of videos when I was younger. We got popular. It's amazing how many fans and content you support our solo journey. So grateful for all our fans for support. We well, had yeah, 10 million subscribers, not 239k. What a specific number. I wish I had that many. The only game to I can't think of had that many is Danny Dev. Danny Dev? He does not have 10 million. That's because he makes funny videos of him falling and trying to make failing and trying to make games, which I personally think is very funny. No hate to Danny Dev. But I'm not like that. I prefer to be more serious with my content, less humor based. What's your favorite level? Probably the level of Black Blizzard. It is a custom level in Geometry Dash, made by a player named Caramel or Kamal. In the level, you are in a dark abyss that is only lit up by flashes of lightning. You fly through in the clouds to the tune of an intense song. This level has an amazing sense of flow, one of the best I've ever seen. What's your channel called? Just remember that. It says, yeah, he claims he has a YouTube channel, because I mean he does. But I wonder what he says. It's called Rob Top Games. You go to my channel, it should be. 48 public videos. Most of these are either sneak peek approvals and next update of my favorite levels of Geometry Dash. Alright, let's see what he responds to this. Oh my god, his name is Anna. She was awesome. I would say she's the most special person to me in my life. Well, two years ago, instantly clicked. We have just the same taste of human music, which is amazing. Okay. Oh! What's the rest been put into the extended list? What do you think of what's around being pushed off the main list and into the extended list on the Geometry Dash even list? I'm a little sad that Wasp Radio is off the list, in my opinion. It's an iconic level, however, it's fallen because of its gameplay. I believe that there were some flaws in gameplay. For example, the ship at 60% would consistently give me trouble, and also the ball at 88% was a bit wonky to me. Wait, have you beaten Wasp Radar? Sadly not, I've been practicing for a while, but level is just very high skill ce ceiling. When I stuck at 20%, I believe that it's a very difficult level and take me a little time to master. However, I'm dedicated, and, it'll, and I will beat it someday. One last question, okay? Come on, help me out. No, oh, you're promoting yourself! Come on, you can do this. I believe in you. Yeah! <laughs> 50,000! <000. laughs> to everyone who was watching this, I'd like to ask you to support Quail in order to get them to their 50,000 subscriber goal. They truly deserve some love and a very interesting person who makes amazing content. They're a really cool person. If you support them with positive comments and encouraging messages, I can guarantee that you will enjoy their content. Thanks, Rob. Wow, what a great way to end off the video. Of course, stay safe, stay calm out there, and this is a crazy world. Remember that whatever obstacles life gives you and can always persevere through them and not let them define who you are as a person. You're amazing. You are cool. You are unique. You are you. <laughs> Don't... You don't need to be like anyone else. You have your own story to tell. Make sure that your story is filled with brim happy memories. What a wholesome way to end the video.